Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to make this polymer clay cane that looks like one of those metal sheets that you would find on the floor sometimes and they're called diamond plate or checkered plate. So this is the diamond plate cane. Uh, as you can see it's basically one color which is gray. Gray is nice for steel, it could be a different color as well. Um, and I prepared already a nice um, medium to dark gray and here's a trick we will work with two different shades of gray a darker one and a lighter one and the darker one is going to be the background and the lighter one will use for these little diamond shapes and it makes them pop out even more so it's a subtle difference but it makes a nice effect we'll start with this lighter color and I prepared some sheets here they're um, 8 by 8 centimeters at a level 2 of my pasta machine and we'll need two of those sheets in gray and one in black and one in white for the shadows and highlights. So we will start with this light gray square and we need to make two Skinner blends. If you don't know what's a Skinner blend I'll put a link in the comments below to a tutorial by Poly Originals. I really like her tutorials and she'll give you all the tricks you need to know to make a good Skinner blend. For now I just want to show you my setup because I always leave an offset on both sides and then rather than cutting a straight diagonal I cut an arc and then I'll use this smaller piece to blend with a light color and the bigger piece to blend with a dark color because like this both blends are going to have more of the light color and it's going to make them look more smooth. So here's our two blends and this is the square of light gray that we still had and these are the leftovers of black and white and I reshaped them to make sure that they're exactly half the size of this square and now we're gonna roll everything up into logs and you gotta be careful with those blends to get the orientation right because we want to roll them up this way and not that way so I made them all the same length and this one is already going to be the center of our cane so we want it nice and round and then we're going to flip those two blends and we'll reduce them in this direction into a square cane and we want to make it twice the length of this one and then cut into half Now the white is going to go in between those two and the black is going to go in between those two and we want to form them into a block each. So we're going to have to make this a little bit more square to um, so it fits nicely in between and then we compress the whole thing and then we make it wider again uh, by making it flatter. This is a good width I think. They have to have more than twice the width of this one because uh, now we want to wrap them around this center cane and um, each part is going to cover half so I'll mark that half on my center and also along the sides and then we'll start by bending these ones already a little bit and when you bend it you gotta be careful to not lose the the thickness. And then I'll 
uh, attach this here on the side along the line and I'll attach it here on the line and this one is touching here on the bottom and here on the bottom and now we can close the whole thing close the gaps all around and compress it into one so now we want to pack our cane with a background color um, so we'll need quite a lot of that dark gray uh, because it's going to be at least three four rounds of the thickest setting of our pasta machine So I was actually making more than four rounds. I have one, two, three, four, five, and that's good because we need some material around because now we want to uh, cut this round cane into a square cane by chopping off all four sides. And first of all, we need to find the correct orientation and uh, we'll mark this line here through the middle and through these separations where our um, blends meet. And then two of the sides of our square need to be parallel to that. So one is here and one is here. And I'll mark the same on the back and then I'll connect the lines along the sides. For the cutting we'll do it with a tissue blade that we guide with both hands because this cut needs to be quite precise so we'll take our time don't rush it keep an eye on both sides on the lines and cut slowly And if our cut was good, we should have the same picture on the other side, same distance more or less. And uh, now we do the two other sides, again with the same distance from the middle. And again, we'll mark them on both sides and connect the, uh, the lines. So this is our finished cane. And as you can see, I added some more of that background color all around. Uh, actually, I added three layers on these two sides and one layer on these two sides. And this is because we're going to compress our cane like this to form those uh, diamond shapes. And if you have more material here, those shapes are going to be thinner and more spiky and it's going to look more natural. So now we can start reducing our cane in this direction. and. I'll keep it at this shape more or less um, until I get to a certain length and then I'll start making it flat and uh, when making it flat again watch your orientation we want the black on the bottom and the white on top and once it's flat I'll cut it in four pieces and stack them on top of each other
and here's our stack now we need to reduce it some more because we're gonna cut it in four pieces again and also we're making the whole thing into a square so it needs to be compressed even more Now putting it together is very simple. You gotta watch your orientation though. Um, we want... You put them up, you stand them up, all facing the same way. And then we'll just flip this one and the one in the opposite corner. And we'll flip them in the same direction. And here's our finished cane. You could reduce it some more, depending on the project you want to use it for. I hope you enjoyed watching and um, happy creating.